Here we go. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our January first webinar of 2024, January 2024 webinar series. We do a monthly lecture, exercise, wellness webinar um, once a month just to engage with you all, um, talk about Rogue in Motion, and also get some exercise in some of our um, monthly webinars. So just a reminder, my name is Julia Freeman. I am a physical therapist. I have my doctorate in physical therapy. I am from um, Los Angeles, California. Rogue is actually located in Orange County um, in California. So I've been working here for two years now, which is crazy. Um, absolutely love what I do. I mean, I get to work out with all of you all and I get paid and we just have so much fun. Um, so with that said, our mission, our goal for today is to give you all a little introduction to what Rogue in Motion is, which is our online program. So we're going to kind of do a deep dive. I have a lecture plan, but I also am going to stop sharing this screen. We're actually going to switch into the actual Rogue in Motion website so you guys can get a better um I guess a better breadth of what we entail in all of our Rogue in Motion website. So let's get started. So our mission here, um, this is including our online class and our in-person. Our mission is to help support people with ongoing high quality and evidence-based exercise for people with Parkinson's. Um, our goal is to not just reach within the Orange County community. We have our Rogue in Motion website, online live classes, because we want to reach across the world, um, deliver to the areas that might not have um, places like Rogue around it. Um, all of these classes are taught by doctors of physical therapy. So we all have our doctorates in physical therapy. Besides our speech class online, it's taught by speech therapists. Um, and then our fine motor classes are also taught by occupational therapists. So our objectives for today is the first, understand what the rogue in motion membership entails. What are you going to get if you um, decide to do um, to trial this rogue in motion website? Um, and then familiarize yourself with the Rogue in Motion. So that's why I'm going to share my screen. You'll be able to see where you can find the different classes and plan out your schedule. And then also to figure out where you can find the live classes versus all the recording classes. So the one plus side with our Rogue in Motion website is that every day during the weekdays, we have live classes. So me or one of the other physical therapists will come on and we will actually do all of the class with you. Um, so then that's also a great time to ask questions, um, come up with any concerns. If you have any injuries, you know, letting the uh, instructor know before that so we can give you some ideas to modify different exercises. So what does the Rogue in Motion entail? What does this website entail? Well, we got a lot of things. So you have unlimited membership to any live class and any recorded classes. So as you can see here in the right um, hand side, these pictures um, are all of the different options and seasons that we have saved from recorded classes that we've done before. Um, so we have our recorded library. Then we have our live classes that I spoke about where every day during the week you have week um daily classes, power moves, a strength training, or a high intensity exercise. We also offer cardio. So we have all those that you can tune in live and actually get to meet some of the other members that are joining in the Rogan Motion website, doing the exercises in live time with you. We also have our speech classes. So our speech classes are actually a really, really big highlight um, that our members that are already joined now that they tell us they love the speech classes. So it's her name is Stephanie. She's a speech therapist. She has worked with people with Parkinson's and their speech um, problems for over years now. Um, and she, everyone just tells me how much they love going to that class. It's not only a great speech class, gives you great speech exercises to work on, but it's also a great community where you guys check in on each other and stuff like that. So not only do you get unlimited access to live classes, power moves, strength, high intensity, boxing, cardio, 
yes, we got to get all that physical exercise, but we also want to give you access to the speech because speech um, symptoms are a pro common problem with people with Parkinson's. Um, so with that said, if you decided to join the membership, you automatically get a free 30 minute consultation, typically with Claire McLean. She is the owner and founder of Rogue in Motion, Rogue in general. Um, so you get to meet with her. She gets to kind of talk to you about our classes and get to know you a little bit so that you guys can pinpoint which classes you think would be best for you to get better. So uh, with that said, we also have weekly cooking classes. So a lot of the research with Parkinson's is based on exercise, um, but there's also Dr. Mishley up in, up in Washington who does a lot of studies about the um, more of like the holistic part of Parkinson's so like nutraceuticals um eating healthier and exercise so she basically looks at that research so we decided to have a weekly cooking class where we're implementing um different recipes that are plant-based recipes to help us um propel us to eat better um and feel better and then speaking of Dr. Mishley, we do a PD school watch party. So during COVID, she made a huge, ex uh, not exercise, a huge video library of all of her research, every all of her knowledge that she knows, um, and put it into a lecture series. And so every week, um, our other instructor, Alex, is taking over this year. You will watch a portion of the lecture. You guys will stop intermittently throughout the hour. Um, Alex will be there for questions. Um, and basically just you get to see what the PD School Watch Party is about. Um, those are not recorded because uh, the, we are paying money to have the membership. And then we also have monthly meetings. So we have an educational meeting and a membership meeting. So that's just a way to check in. Claire always likes to, uh, you know, make Rogue in Motion so fit for almost everyone. So she always wants the membership meeting to be a place where they can go over updates, but also take feedback and make the website um, even better. So one of the feedback that we got from a lot of members is that people wanted the class classes, live classes earlier. So what we did starting last December, so last month, we are now starting live classes starting at 7 a.m. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And not only do you get access to all this stuff, you get to meet online a community of people with Parkinson's. So you get to actually meet people that have the same diagnosis with you and actually build connections and friendships. So the live class schedule um, so we have the recorded schedule or the recorded library, and then we have the live class schedule. So this is consistent every week. So if you tune in, you will be at the live classes with one of the physical therapists. So let's just take Wednesday, for example. So Wednesday, we have a couple of classes. So we have a 7 a.m. high intensity interval training class. So if you would tune in, typically what that looks like, you would tune in a few minutes before 7 a.m. Maddie, our instructor, will be there. She will say hi to you. Um, and if you're new, she'll probably ask you a couple more questions to get to know you. And then for a high intensity, it's 45 minutes for that one. So she'll go over what the high intensity will include, warm up, do the high intensity, and then we all cool down with power moves on the floor. So doing some extra stretching and different exercises specific for uh, people with Parkinson's. Then at 8 a.m. Pacific time, we would have a cardio class with Jamie. And then 9 a.m. Pacific time, we went back into our functional strength class. Um, so as you can see, our live classes, there's they are different from day to day. So we have three cardio classes. We have three high intensity, um, four power moves, two boxing, one dance. So we try to have a variety for everyone. Um, and I typically see people in one to two classes either every day or every other day. So we're trying to make everyone follow the research as closely as possible. And what the research says is doing at least three days a week for 30 minutes at least of high intensity interval training or high intensity aerobic, getting your heart rate up in the zones will help attenuate symptoms um, and progression of Parkinson's, slow it down. 
In addition to that, we recommend people doing power moves a couple times a week, power moves, or if you've ever heard of LSVT big, this is amplitude training. Um, so amplitude training is a way to get bigger, move bigger, reset, recalibrate the nervous system, the sensory system, because Parkinson's wants you to move smaller, slower, and tinier. And so power moves basically does the opposite. It's amplitude. So you're working on big motions. You're working on coordination. You're working on inhibition. Um, all of these things that are going to be really good for anyone that's getting older. So this is what our live class schedule looks like. We'll never, usually we'll never change, never change. Um, so you can always count on us being there every day during the weekdays. So where to find this live, live class schedule and where to tune in. So if you sign up for the Rogue in Motion online, um, you will automatically get an email every day from Claire. Typically, if people don't get emails, we always say check your spam, make sure you have Claire as a contact, um, but you will get this email from Claire. So this was from last Thursday. Um, she kind of gives a little splurge um, if there's anything new that we're doing in our clinic. Um, and then we are also putting down all of the Zoom links for the different classes. So let's just say you wanted to tune into a power moves and then speech class later. So you would find this email, click on the Zoom link um, to tune into the power moves class. And then you can take a break. And if you wanted to come to the speech class later, then you would click on that link. But if you don't have time to come to the live classes, don't worry about it. We also always provide a link just to the Rogan Motion website um, for you to do a recorded class on your own time at any time you want. And then lastly, if you forget where this schedule is, we always post it on our, on our email um, every day, our daily email. So our in-person class schedule is if you come actually in Rogue versus our online live schedule, you can download it and print it out. So this is what our front page of our Rogan website, um, Rogan Motion website looks like. So we're going to check it out. So I'm going to stop sharing my screen and I'm actually going to switch over to the actual website. Give me one second. And we're going to go over the different things that is in the website. Woohoo. Okay. So you should be seeing my screen. So when you first go to the Rogan Motion website, this is what pops up. Um, typically, you will log in. I will say if you don't really know where to go, you're going to go to the Browse button at the top left. So the Browse button, you're going to have um, videos that you've already been watching. You can keep watching. If you scroll down, you'll see a list of recent releases. So classes that just happened. And if you scroll down even more, you're going to get to the different recorded classes. So we already talked about our um, live classes. These are recorded classes. So you can access these anytime you want. Um, let's just start off with our power moves. Our power moves are the amplitude based training that I talked about. It improves how you feel. It targets all the different symptoms of Parkinson's like flex posture, rigidity, um, imbalanced, um, stuff like that. And so then you can actually click on one of these videos and go to it. That's This is for the January, so basically this month we have a new section, but we have sections running all the way from April 2020. So we started this Rogue in Motion website in COVID, and then we just kept it going. So we can stay in this month, and let's just go to Claire, which is our owner, and get to this. So what will happen is you'll just click the play button. You'll see that you're in the Power Moves class. Our power moves classes typically start off in sitting. So I'm not playing the video. I have it paused. Um, you'll start off in sitting. You're going to do the different uh, power exercises. Then you'll get up into standing and work on some standing power moves. And then after that, you will get onto the floor and do some floor power moves. So that's typically what our power moves class looks like. And then you, if you go back to the browse button, you can go back to the front page. 
So that was our power moves class. We also have different themes. So if you wanted to add strength in your power moves, then you would click on this one and find a strength power moves class. If you're someone that's new to power moves and um, just amplitude training in general and you wanted to take it easy, I would suggest starting actually at the modifications and variations of the power moves. Going through each of these videos will help you develop the strength, flexibility, um, and coordination to be able to do the other power moves classes. In addition to that, if you take, if you scroll over, we have classes in Spanish. Um, so we have one of our older instructors. He um, is not working with it, us anymore, um, but he spoke Spanish and was able to record a couple classes in Spanish because we do have some people that are Spanish speaking. We also have our intro classes too. So if you're new and you want don't know where to start, I would suggest going here, trying out all the intro classes. And I would really, really recommend, even if you don't think, you know, high intensity interval training is for you, if you get it cleared by your doctor and you're good to go, I would try everything. Try all the classes, all the intro classes, see what you like, see what you don't like and build your um, schedule from that. We also have introduction to speech activities. This is Stephanie, our speech therapist. Um, and then we also have intro to fine motor. This is the occupational therapist that works with us, Leanne. We also have intro to cardio classes too. So if you're not used to doing 30, 35 minute cardio classes, feel free to start with a um, 10 to 15 minute one. So those are our intro classes. If you keep scrolling, you'll basically start back at the front. So you'll start back up, up at power moves. Um, and then that's just our amplitude training in general. So our amplitude training reminder, it's retraining your brain, resetting, recalibrating the nervous system to train your brain to be bigger and move bigger and just overall improve the way you're walking in the moment. Then we're going to go into high intensity. So our high intensity classes are to get your heart rate up. So a lot of the research for Parkinson's shows that um, at least three times a week, 30 minutes um, each time, getting your heart rate above 60% of your max heart rate, um, you are in the right zone to be following the research. So ideally, if you follow the, those guidelines, you would um, help reduce your progression of Parkinson's and also reduce symptoms. Is that, That's what's been seen in research, and that's what we encourage. Um, so that can either be a cardio class where you're doing like a high aerobic. You can also do a high intensity interval training. You're still getting your heart rate up. We also offer boxing. So let's click on cardio first. So our cardio classes, they range um, between doing the treadmill or on the bike. So you can choose if you have a treadmill or bike at home or if you have access to a, an in-person gym, you can take us with you. Um, so we can click on Jamie here. She's another one of our instructors. Um, she typically will Back. do treadmill. So you can see she's doing it alongside with you. Um, you can definitely tell that our hearts are pumping and we are breathing heavy in it. But we always have a fun time. We play some music. We have fun. So that's what our cardio classes look like. If we go back. So we just looked at the cardio. Let's go into our high intensity interval training. You can click on your high intensity interval training. You're basically doing um, rounds. You're doing, if it's a high intensity, um, it's either going to be a 45 minute class or it's going to be a 60 minute class. Um, the intervals will range between 60 seconds on, 15 seconds off, or 40 seconds on, 15 seconds off. Um, and so basically with our high intensity, you are expected to do a high intensity exercise, but then switch between a skilled exercise and a high intensity. So let's just say a high intensity would be jumping jacks. And then after that one um, exercise, 60 seconds of jumping jacks, you would go into a skilled exercises, for example, um, like me in the top left corner here, we have us doing bird dogs. So something that's a little bit more um, skill-based, less of getting your heart rate up. 
And then lastly, we have here that gets your heart pumping is our boxing. So I recommend everyone trying boxing. Um, it's different than actually hitting a bag. We do a lot of shadow boxing. So you're looking at yourself in the video and you're um, working on your punches, um, your footwork, your agility, all that stuff. So that's a fun class. And then lastly, in our high intensity section, we have our strength. So one of these, this is a class that we added, I think a year or two ago, where it's called a functional strength class. So the reason why it's called a functional strength class is because we take household items um, and we try to make it into a strength. So we have a household item strength class and then we have a functional strength class. So what you'll be able to see is Maddie put weights, just hand weights, into a bag and is doing different exercises. I'm going to turn the sound off. Turn Doing different exercises with the bag of weights. So it's something that you can do at home. You can implement. If you don't have weights, you can always throw in water bottles, cans of soup. Um, you can maybe throw in some books, stuff like that. We, we try to be as creative as possible. So that's our functional strength class. And then we also have shorter high intensity um, classes if you didn't want to do a full 45 minutes or a 60 minute workout. So if you're kind of waiting, you're like, okay, this sounds okay, but you're like, is there anything else? Yes, we have dance. So if you like to dance, we have a dance season. Clara has actually taken up dancing. We had a physical therapy student who actually was um, trained in dancing. So she did some dancing for us. Um, basically, you have um, our dance section where it's between 30 minutes to 40 minutes. Um, and you learn different dances. Um, you do, do some line dancing. You'll do some coordination and balance dancing. Maybe you'll do a little bit of floor dances. Um, and then we have like different themes. So we have a 50s week. We have one that's just ABBA um, and country. So you can kind of just choose what flavor you like of dancing and see how it goes. So these are the speech classes that I was talking about. There's live speech classes every day. Um, or not every day, sorry, Tuesdays and Thursdays. And then you can access recorded speech classes any day you want. So this is Stephanie. This is our speech therapist. I muted her, but she goes through different exercises. Sometimes she does use a little bit of equipment, but if you don't have it, you could just let her know and she can change, um, just modify the exercise for you. Um, but she works a lot on breath work, working on intentional speaking, working on loud voices and really showing your facial expressions because all of these are could be symptoms of Parkinson's where they want to minimize everything. So that's our speech. And then we have our fine motor section. So fine motor activities are like putting um, our buttons, buttoning up our shirt, um, doing small fine motor things with our hands. So like doing paper clips or stuff like that. Um, so that's a fine motor activity section. You could practice all those if you find trouble with that. And then lastly, if you find yourself, you know, doing really well with the exercise and you want more of a brain challenge, well, I will welcome you, welcome you in brain body training. So uh, I was the one that was leading this program. Um, I had different uh, lectures where we worked alongside and we did a uh, movement plus a brain challenge. So I would typically have lecture slides and they were all working on something different. So for these arrows, they were working on visual selection and attention inhibition training. And then if you scroll up, there was one where I didn't have a lecture slide and we were listening to verbal attention and comprehension is that if I said something out loud, can you follow my instructions? So they were all working on different aspects of our cognition. And then a little just something different here is that we have a functional activity section. So if you came and you're like, hey, I can't get out of bed or I'm having trouble opening and closing the door, 
I would go to this section immediately and try to find one that's related to the functional problem you're having. So we're, we, we relate our exercises to actual things that you do from a day-to-day -day basis. So these are good things to watch, look at, and practice if you are having trouble with them. Then we have an anti-freeze section. So freezing of gait is typically a symptom of people with Parkinson's. Um, it's the feeling of that your feet are stuck to the floor or they feel frozen. You can't move them. Um, so there's a lot of different ways you can combat freezing. And so this anti-freeze series is a great place to start. So this anti-freeze series is going to give you different exercises, have you watch the ideal movement of, a, of someone working on uh, weight shifting to improve freezing. So you work on stepping, you work on walking through a door, you're working on stepping over obstacles, um, and you actually start in seated, and then you will get up into standing and do it. We have a bunch of other things that you could explore. You would just click, click view all and you would see everything, foot health, exercise of the month. Um, and then we also have our ed educational lectures, our cooking classes, um, and anything else related to just yoga and just your ideal exercise plan, tips and tricks. So uh, with this said, our educational lectures are, are given monthly, recorded, uploaded into the library. So if you don't, if you can't make it live, you can always watch these. And then you have your plant-based cooking classes. So if you can't make the weekly cooking classes, they are uploaded and put in the library. So that basically includes the majority of our tour for the Rogue in Motion. I'm going to scroll back up. Some tips and tricks. I like to orient everyone to the top here. So, like I said, you can browse. It'll take you back to the front page. You can scroll down, see which power moves, high intensity, any class you would like to do. You can click on that section. I also like to um, orient people to the search bar. So, if you wanted to actually search for something, like let's just say you wanted to do like cardio, but you wanted it holiday themed. Let's see if it'll pop up. So you would do car cardio holiday themed and the holiday music would pop up too. So you can actually search for what you want as well if you can't find it in one of the sections. If you wanted to look back at the schedule, you can always click on the live stream schedule and it would pop, pop up the live screen. You would download it. You also have access to the FAQ. I'll make sure you're seeing it. Yep, okay, you see it, perfect. So this is the um, frequent um, answers and questions, questions and answers. Um, so uh, for our online people, are classes online going to stop when the pandemic ends? No, clearly we're here, we're gonna keep going. People typically ask if insurance will cover the cost. Um, no, um, we aren't aware of any insurances covering the online membership costs. Um, but ideally, you know, you can always ask your insurance and see if they do. We would love for people to try classes for free. I actually have a code for you all to try one month free. Um, so I will give you guys that at the end because usually we only give seven days. And then we, uh, typically I also get, we get the question of like, okay, what classes do we start with? So I typically recommend starting with a power moves or amplitude training class. We have some of the basic or the modified ones. Um, and then as you build your endurance, your strength, and you're getting comfortable with all the power moves in the different positions, you can actually go to a little bit more challenging power moves class. Um, if you find a full hour of class very difficult, you can always stop and pause. You can always watch, take more breaks. Um, there's always different things that you can do to um, like uh, you can do to tolerate the one hour. And so then we'll talk about pricing for classes. And then if you wanted to cancel, you would actually cancel directly through the membership website. Um, you can also email Claire. She would also cancel it for you if you wanted to cancel your membership. 
So let me stop my sharing. I'm going to go back to my PowerPoint. And I will get to all your questions once we finish. We're almost done. Okay, so those are the list of things that we just went through a bunch. <laughs> um, okay, so we went through all of that. So now we're talking about pricing. So do you want a free month to try it? I would recommend it. The pricing is $74.99 a month. Annually, you would get, get it for $749.99 for the whole year, you get two months free. Um, the free month. So in order to uh, try the free month, you're going to log on to Rogue in Motion. You're going to click um, log in and it will make you purchase something. You're going to click the monthly and then in the promo code, you're going to type in free month. So I will put that in. I'll put the website in roganmotion.com and then free month should is the code. You get the first month three free. So what I usually tell people, send a, a reminder on your phone a couple of days before the month ends um, and then see reevaluate, see if you want to keep going. If you want to keep going, I would recommend changing it to the annual so that you would also save two months from that. All right. So a lot of information. I'm happy to go back to slides or go back to the website if you all had specific questions about that. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and stop my screen and so I can see all y'all and answer any questions. So feel free to unmute and chit chat. I do have a bunch of questions. Yes. I'm ready. First of all, I wanted to, first of all, I wanted to point out um, a lot of insurance companies do cover um, club memberships, gym memberships. Um, and I would suggest that you get in touch with them because if somebody is... Um, in need of your services, they're not going to be joining a gym necessarily. They, and so perhaps the insurance companies could start some kind of, you know, uh, corresponding program with you guys. I would I would follow it up if I were in your okay. position. Yeah, I, I know agree. That, I believe that Cigna has done that. And so has United Healthcare. Okay, I'm ready. And it's it generally down. associated with um, Medigap programs with uh, Medicare, you know, the okay. supplemental programs that you get to go with it. Mm -hmm. Not just regular health insurance, but Medigap programs. Okay, so one question is, how much space do you need to do this? Because I have a very limited space that I can do this in. If I'm in the, I have a little bit of space in my kitchen where it would be okay to bounce, but the only other space I have is my dining room where I cannot bounce up and down because I have china cabinets there, you know? Yeah. Like yeah. Cabinets. How, yeah. How, so I, is this? how much space do I need? Yeah, so... If you can see behind me, this is actually our filming area. Um, but if you have a mat, um, I typically say a mat length and you have about like two feet around it. Um, so because we will be getting into different positions. So you'll be laying down, you'll be on your back, you'll be on your side, you'll be getting up and down quite a bit. So it would be nice to have some room, um, but you don't need a bunch of space. You just need about like, yeah, like I want to say like a mat plus like two feet around. So for the high intensity interval training, how bouncy is that? Because I remember uh, it was pretty energetic when I did it at Lauren Mishley's uh, PD school. Yeah, it's it's very, it's one of the hardest classes um, that we offer. We basically, the inst every instructor is a little different of how they do it. So when I teach my high intensity, you can always expect doing some sort of jumping activity. So it is a very bouncy with my classes. Other people that teach it um, sometimes don't always do a bunch of bouncing. But if there's, if you have limited space, I always recommend like um, doing the best you can with what you have. Um, and so instead of maybe doing jumping jacks, you're doing like quick, like um, reaches side to side and doing quick steps. So you're not doing as much jumping just to protect yourself too. So the stuff on the floor, if I'm in my kitchen, that's a really hard floor. That would be something where I'd want to have like a yoga mat to be on. Yeah, we recommend everyone having a yoga mat or laying on their carpet or something like that. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and so for the weight training, you said you just basically would use whatever you happen to have at home. You don't need any particular supplies. And what about then the cardio things? Um, do you need to have, I mean, it sounded like you were using equipment a lot of the time. You There are, there are plenty of classes without that equipment. I mean, yeah. I have a... I have, we have a stationary bike and I use an elliptical and, um, but they're not in a place where I can put anything to watch. 
Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I typically, so a couple points, um, for our cardio classes, it's always done on equipment. So a bike or treadmill. Um, but what the research has shown is that if you're getting your heart rate up into the 60% of your max heart rate or above, um, whether you're doing cardio or high intensity where you don't need a cardio equipment, boxing or whatever it is, that's what matters is that you're getting your heart rate up. So if someone doesn't have the cardio equipment, then I would recommend not doing the cardio class. I would say, let's try maybe a high intensity or a boxing. Um, I've had people actually tune in and literally do high knees and marches and running around their room for 30 minutes, which I commend them for doing because that's hard um, for my cardio classes. But typically um, you will need equipment for the cardio um, to either be a bike, elliptical, treadmill. Um, I see people bring their iPads or their phones and put it on the mm -hmm, equipment right. and actually do right. it. So you could use an elliptical instead? Yeah. So you're, yeah, you can use the elliptical. Um, we, when we do our cardio classes, we do different intervals. And so we typically cue like, okay, so if you're going into a faster speed interval, then here are the different ranges that we want you in. So if you were on the elliptical, I would tell you to stay low on the resistance level one or two and pedal as fast as you can. Then we'll basically switch between that interval and a slower interval where we bump up the incline and resistance and you're pedaling a little bit slower. Okay. Yeah. All right. I think that was most of my questions. Yeah. Oh, the other, the other question then was, um, my schedule is not compatible with yours at all for live classes. I typically get, go to bed between two and four and get up between like nine and 10. So I'm yeah. not interested in exercising until early afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that, that means basically happens. I would only be using your recorded classes. Yeah. Yeah. And okay. that, and a way to interact with us during, like with the recorded classes is that at the bottom of each video, there's like a forum. So if like you wanted to comment or ask a question, we, all of the instructors here are the admins. <laughs> so we all get an email when someone asks a question or comments on the video. Um, so always one of us would reply if you did have a question. Okay. So that's, I guess, one way to interact. Okay. And so then I do have one other question. Um, I don't seem, as far as I can tell, to have any issues with speech yet or um, with movement, really. Um, and Pre-COVID, I used to be a gym rat. Um, <clears throat> and nowadays, I do yoga, chair yoga twice a week. I do cardio at least twice a week, if not three or four times a week. And I go for three-mile walks twice a week. Awesome. What am I going to get out of this that I'm not doing for myself already? That's a really good question. I mean, I think uh, I can see that strength training would be useful because I'm obviously not doing that. Yeah. Except for what yoga does using body weight. Yeah. So the one nice thing working with us at Rogue is that we're all specialized in Parkinson's. So some of the things that you may not have realized that are beneficial to you, like doing an amplitude training class, um, might actually, you might actually benefit from that. Um, so basically just hearing your structure of workouts during the week. I feel like you need a little bit more strengthening. I think you need to do some more standing balance activities. Um, and then I would ask you about your aerobic intensity of how hard, hard you're working and how, if you're tracking it or not with your heart rate. Um, so I those are like a pig. <laughs> so yeah, then you would probably be fine with the cardio class and you probably don't need a cardio class. Um, but what we offer is, I like to say is different because we're all, we all have our doctorates in physical therapy, but we also have all these specialties to work with people with Parkinson's. Um, and so you'll see in the classes that I, I will say, or someone else will say, Hey, I noticed this a lot. I've noticed people don't get their arms up high enough. So check in with your posture, make sure you're taller. Um, just different things that uh, just a regular personal trainer or sometimes yourself, you forget about. Okay. Thank you. Of course. Doris. Yes. It doesn't matter. I have a, a, a bike. I do not have a treadmill. Is a bike okay? Mm -hmm. An exercise bike. Yep. Is, it, is one preferred over the other? Um, no. I mean, not really. <laughs> so <laughs> first, I want you to be safe, I like to say, is as long as you're safe and using the equipment. Um, but I typically see people, I, I do the bike, um, typically when I do the cardio classes, 
So I see people that join me that are on bikes and treadmills. Um, so people can do whatever. What we do during the cardio class are speed intervals. And so for your speed intervals, we talk about it in the beginning of class. There's two different types of intervals. You have a speed two, that's your fast interval, speed one, that's your slow interval. You are kind of like your judge of how hard you want to work. Um, and so if you're someone that wants to improve walking, then I would say a treadmill would probably be better. But if you're someone that is fine walking, then and you only have a bike, then do the bike. As long the goal for the cardio classes, whether you're on the treadmill or the bike, is obviously one safety, but two, getting your heart rate up as high as you can and keeping it up there. How do you determine what is high enough as far as your heart rate? Yeah, so I have um, a bunch of the videos. If you go onto our YouTube channel, you can look back at the high intensity lecture too, because I go way more into depth about it. Um, but if you have like a heart rate monitor that will track it. Um, so I have like an Apple watch, but people use aura rings. Um, people have used Fitbits. Um, people also use a little bit of a RPE scale. Yeah. I don't know what that is, but. Uh, you know, you stick your oh, finger. Socks. In. Okay. Yeah. Oximeter. Yeah. So that would tell you, you know, your heart rate and your oxygen um, saturation mm -hmm. and stuff. I would have well, maybe think about getting something that is more of an ongoing. So it tracks your heart rate as you're um, continuing to exercise. So you don't have to wait and see what the number pops up. Um, so I have yeah. another question. Yes. How, how do you follow these exercises online? A lot of times I'm so busy interpreting what the instructor is saying that by the time I figure it out, she's already gone on to oh, that's another. A, that's a really good question. Um, let's see. The first thing is, is you can change the speed of a recorded video. So you can actually slow it down if you think it's too fast. Um, you would go to the little settings bar. I can actually sh share my screen and show you guys so you guys know. All right. So here's my screen. So if you're watching our instructor, Jamie, I have the sound off so you can't hear her, but she's going, let's just say she's going too fast to you, for you. You're going to, excuse me, you're going to go to the bottom right corner into the settings. Mm -hmm. You're going to go to the speed and you can actually slow it down even slower. Mm -hmm. So that'll be a way if you're um, new and you're trying to get to know all the different exercises, that's uh, mm -hmm. one of the ways you can slow it down. And um, you, you mentioned in the speech therapy, you mentioned equipment. What kind of equipment? Um, that's a great question, Doris. I am not a speech therapist, um, but <laughs> if you were to tune into one of the classes, Stephanie would always talk about the different okay. equipment that she's going to use. And typically, I'm pretty sure people have said that they just have found them on Amazon and just shipped it to their house for the next class. Okay. Yeah. Any other questions or anything like that? How long are the classes? That's a great question. So we are on average, our classes are typically 55 to 60 minutes. Um, we have classes that are a lot shorter between 15 to 30. Um, and then I think our longest class is like an hour and five minutes. Or if you watch one of the educational lectures, it's like two or three hours. Um, but typically our exercise classes, our goal is between 45 to 60 minutes. Um, but if you're new, we always suggest maybe starting at a shorter amount of time. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So if you guys wanted to join, um, I'll have that code is available for one more week. Um, so I would love to see you all, especially if you can make the live classes. I teach on Thursdays um, and it's always fun to kind of get to know and see new faces. I teach power moves and boxing, um, but you also will see me on Fridays teaching high intensity training. All right, my friends, if we're all of you, none of, no one has any other questions. I want to make sure everyone's good. Okay. Well, thank you all so much for coming. I really do appreciate it. I hope this was 
beneficial in some way. You learned something and um, hopefully I see you all online. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. See y'all later.